catch the excitement. <laughs> Dr. Thomas Zerwukin is NASA's Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate, and he's with us now from the JPL, the Jet Propulsion <laughs> Lab in Pasadena. I would say thanks for waking up early with us, sir, but you've been up all night. Uh, and tell us about these breathtaking moments when you're waiting to find out if Ingenuity lifted off after all these months and years of planning. Yeah, it was really exciting. And, and I have to tell you, like we, all, we knew we flew a couple hours before, right? And so we knew it was already done and we needed to get the data down over that ginormous antenna in Madrid. And we were waiting in the room and I was just so amazingly proud of that team. Some of the members were in the room, some of them at home under COVID conditions, you know, and kind of, uh, you know, never vaccinated. And I just want to tell you just how amazingly proud I am of them. Wow, that was a pretty, that's a remarkable scene. And what Ingenuity had to do to lift up is pretty incredible, too. We talked about how cold the temperatures were, 130 degrees below, and how thin the atmosphere is. What was that little guy up against? There's so many just environmental conditions that are so much harsher than Earth. You talked about the temperatures, you know, that there's dust. Uh, you, if you look at the zoom, that's just earlier, you saw some dust uh, on top of the solar cells. And then, of course, the very low pressure makes it so much harder to control this vehicle. But our engineers were up for it, you know, together with their partners. Uh, they did just perfectly. It w well, uh, we were just saying one small step, one <laughs> giant leap. I mean, this is a very short flight. Mm -hmm. But what are the broader implications now that you've uh, you have proof of concept? You can fly <laughs> on Mars. You know how to do it. What does that mean for space exploration? Today, we took an idea and put it in the box of things we know how to do. Right. Mm -hmm. And from now on. You know, there's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of other ideas that will come up. You know, we would like to fly into craters. Some of these crater walls we've been observing from space and they look like there's water seeping out. We'd like to mm. go observe that up, up front because it would be incredibly important to know that we're already thinking ahead of human explorers on Mars and how these scouts could actually help them kind of find their way on on Mars, and there's many other applications we're thinking about. Uh, we're, you know, right now, a new book just opened. Well, I hope it's okay that yeah. we say congratulations, and also Ingenuity is just so cute. Adorable. Doctor. I mean, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's just four pounds. Yeah. Uh, we, we, love, we love Ingenuity, so congrats to congrats everyone there. Congrats again. Thank you. <laughs> I always get excited. I mean, cool. when you think about all the different calculations, with the problems those engineers mm. have to solve, and then this all comes down to this well, moment. Well, and to hear works. her in the piece liken it to the to the Wright to brothers the Wright and brothers. feeling that moment was pretty incredible. Yeah, they have a little yeah. fabric from the Wright brothers Love. slight oh, on, the, a, on the chopper. Dream. I know. There's so many of them. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.